Well, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArkelTechHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your Wednesday morning forecast update. Kind of a breezy, mostly cloudy and warm day for us today. And I think this is probably the last time that we'll push 90 degrees this year as we do have a cold front on the way this weekend that will cool us into the 70s looking at temperatures in the 70s for much of next week as well so i think uh, this is probably the last time we'll be close to 90 record high today is 92 so i don't think we'll push any records but it becomes more and more rare to see 90 degree highs this time of the year won't rule it out in a few locations today won't rule out maybe a little bit of rain occurring as well I'll show you that in just a moment but uh, much warmer this morning of course yesterday we started out in the 50s and 60s we have that warm front roll through yesterday it did bring some of that rainfall and it is uh, kind of set us up with some humid conditions this morning your temperatures will start the day in the low to mid 70s so pretty warm morning but uh, just kind of smile through it today knowing that these uh, warm mornings are going away pretty shortly here and we're seeing a little bit of rain north of I-30 basically across Arkansas Oklahoma and uh, back through Red River and Bowie counties in Texas probably won't see much rain here for the next few hours as that warm front continues to push to the north so it will carry that initial round of rain this morning north with it you can see a lot of cloud cover here uh, to our southwest so I think we'll see kind of back and forth between some sunshine as well as the clouds today and you can see the main feature as far as the weather pattern is this cold front which is moving across north Texas and Oklahoma they're looking at some severe weather here uh, with that front this morning and maybe later today as well but this will probably stall out for the next 24 hours so at this point we're not too concerned about any strong thunderstorms in the Arkletex but we'll be close enough to that front today to maybe see a little bit of rain pop up in some areas this afternoon uh, wind speeds right now you'll step outside this morning you'll notice that breeze right away we do have winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour and that's the range they should, should stay in throughout the day so you'll feel that breeze which is all that humidity surging through the region behind that uh, warm front from yesterday highs today mid to upper 80s we have temperatures a little bit cooler here where we'll see that rain chance north of i-30 and i'll show you that right now and you're Robin's side of Futurecast. You can see some of the rain maybe uh, redeveloping at some point this afternoon in those same areas that are kind of seeing the showers this morning. Texarkana wouldn't be surprised if you pulled in a little bit of rain. Shreveport, uh, it's looking like it will be a dry day today. We may actually see a bit of sun, so that's why I think we could push 90 degrees in Shreveport this afternoon. And uh, tomorrow the front will begin to move in, so we do have a better chance of seeing some showers and storms here Thursday and into Friday. Doesn't look to be any heavy rain or any uh, severe weather with this front but uh, one thing we'll have to watch maybe close enough to it to see some locations pick up an inch or two of rain here i-30 and northward so would that cause any problems for us probably not since we are uh, seeing some drought conditions across the region so the ground should be able to soak up this rain without seeing too many issues so i think the biggest threat for us the next two to three days just some lightning with the storms that will be out there through friday uh should clear out pretty quickly friday evening can't rule out maybe some rain for the football games on friday but we should rapidly dry out this weekend great temperatures this weekend uh, if you like that fall like weather you're in luck we've got a lot of that in the forecast so uh, very quiet any weekend overnight lows will be chilly 40s and 50s if you're out there doing some shopping or some yard work early in the morning this weekend you'll need uh, something with long sleeves there we've got another front on the way middle of next week which is uh, looking to be a dry front but it may reinforce those highs in the 70s for much of next week as well